Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023, morning edition. This, uh, this entire video is AI generated daily. Now, this day in history. 1230, William de Breos is hanged by Prince Llewellyn the Great. 1611, the King James Version of the Bible is published for the first time in London, England, by printer Robert Barker. 1670, King Charles II of England grants a permanent charter to the Hudson's Bay Company to open up the fur trade in North America. And now on to today's news. Supreme Court to hear major case on limiting the power of federal government, a long-term goal of legal conservatives. CNN, AI summary of this story. The U.S. Supreme Court will reconsider a 1984 precedent and determine whether to scale back the power of federal agencies, potentially affecting a range of policy areas from public health to climate change. Conservative justices who have already limited government regulatory authority are set to examine Chevron deference, the principle that courts defer to a government agency's interpretation of the law. The court will review an appeal from Atlantic herring fishermen who say the National Marine Fisheries Service shouldn't require them to pay salaries for government onboard monitors. A separate upcoming case could also impact the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Trump asks for mistrial in E. Jean Carroll rape defamation trial. CNBC, AI summary of this story. Former President Donald Trump's request for a mistrial in writer E. Jean Carroll's civil rape and defamation case against him was denied by a federal judge, allowing her testimony to continue. Trump attorney Joe Tacopina asked for a mistrial earlier on the ground of Kaplan's pervasive, unfair, and prejudicial rulings against the former president. Takapina argued that Kaplan mischaracterized evidence in Carroll's favor and wrongly sustained objections from Carroll's lawyers. Carroll returned to the witness stand in federal court and testified last week, saying that Trump raped me and shattered my reputation. Pope speaks of secret peace mission, help for Ukraine kids, the Associated Press. It's AI summary of this story. Pope Francis revealed during an airborne press conference on his way back home from Hungary that a secret peace mission in Russia's war in Ukraine is ongoing, though he gave no details. The Vatican is willing to help in the return of Ukrainian children taken to Russia during the war, said Francis, who also emphasized that deportations of Ukrainian children have been a concern. The Holy See has already helped mediate some prisoner exchanges and would do all that is possible to reunite families, he stated. The International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin and Russia's Children's Commissioner in March. One VR, VR, references, B-O-B, span. A class on text purple one underline, ref teams W. AtchisonGlobalNow.com, News, World, Pope open to helping return and Ukrainian children in Russia, Article 47-2-D-4, 4-2-7-54-6, 8-D-F-3-C-C-B-V-X-7, 8-9-F, 8-T-M-L, target of blank. Hope open to helping return Ukrainian children in Russia. For our spam. A class text purple one underline. Refi TP WWW. Idaho State Journal. Co M News World Hungry Pope Image C O C B 5 A 4 B D 4 5 B 90 97 L 7 Fate 3 Fate 5 7 9 5 Himmel Target. Uh, blank. Hungry Pope of World Nuts. Idaho State Journal. Com. For our spam. Burl. Spam. A class ca- text purple one underline. Ref TP. W. CapitalGazette.com, NUS Nation World, CT Audnil, Pope Visits Hungary, 2002-30430, JXF2, Brave, PDTC5, Jane LQF, UIP Story, to Mill Target, Blank. Pope in Final Mass in Budapest urges Hungary to open doors. For- White House plumbers ring satire from the oddball characters behind Watergate, CNN. AI summary of the story. The surreal HBO limited series White House Plumbers is a lightweight companion to all the president's men presenting the flip side of all the frantic cover-up planning by the Keystone criminals behind Watergate and the criminal plot to help ensure Nixon's re-election. Woody Harrelson and Justin Thoreau play two minor players who masterminded the dirty tricks behind Watergate, while high-ranking White House officials, including John Dean and Attorney General John Mitchell, were understandably skeptical at first. Jamie Dimon, this part of the crisis is over after J.P. Morgan Chase acquires First Republic CNBC. AI summary of this story. J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon has expressed concern over the war in Ukraine and China's relationship with the world economy. He acknowledged the possibility of a soft landing or a mild or hard recession for the U.S. economy, despite its current strong position. 
Diamond also praised the potential of artificial intelligence in risk, fraud, marketing, and prospecting. In another statement, he suggested that regulations need tweaking following the failures that led to the downfall of three regional U.S. banks in recent weeks. One, two, three. As Stephen Curry and LeBron James prepare to play on smaller stage with lesser teams, greatness is guaranteed. CBS Sports. AI summary of this story. Stephen Curry delivered an all-time great performance, scoring 50 points in the Golden State Warriors' victory over the Sacramento Kings. Curry became the first player to score 50 points in a Game 7 in NBA history. He scored 30 of those points in the second half, leading his team to a 120-100 win and setting up a second-round showdown against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. Curry's performance was a reminder of his talent and historical in its weight. Aerosmith unveils Peace Out Farewell Tour, including Detroit show in September, Detroit Free Press, AI summary of this story. Aerosmith has announced its farewell outing, the Peace Out Tour, marking the end of their legendary 50-year career with 40 North American dates. The tour will open on September 2nd in Philadelphia and close on January 26th in Montreal with a hometown finale at Boston's TD Garden. The band's frontman Steven Tyler, guitarist Joe Perry, bassist Tom Hamilton, and rhythm guitarist Brad Whitford will be involved, but drummer Joey Kramer will not be part of it after he decided to sit out for family and health reasons. The tickets will go on sale from May 14th via Ticketmaster. Up to 100 homes damaged and schools closed after tornado strikes Virginia Beach, CNN, AI summary of this story. An F3 tornado damaged between 50 and 100 homes in Virginia Beach, Virginia on Sunday. A state of emergency was declared and at least three schools closed temporarily. Fortunately, no injuries have been reported so far. Crews from the Virginia Beach Fire Department cleared debris from the area, and Dominion Power and Virginia Natural Gas assisted with gas leaks from some properties. The National Weather Service confirmed the tornado, which was detected via radar. FAA launches faster, high-altitude flight routes to avoid congestion along the East Coast. CNBC, AI summary of this story. The Federal Aviation Administration has launched almost 170 new flight paths to reduce congestion in the crowded eastern U.S. airspace. The new paths are shorter, faster, and more direct, mostly above 18,000 feet, and are part of a seven-year collaborative effort between the FAA and airlines to redraw high-altitude route maps for planes. According to the FAA, the new routes would reduce around 6,000 minutes of travel time per year and give the agency more flexibility to handle weather-related issues and facilitate safer air traffic. And now a silly joke or two to lighten the mood after all the heavy stuff. If I could name myself after any Egyptian god, I'd be set. What did the ocean say to the beach? Thanks for all the sediment. What cheese can never be yours? Nacho cheese. Hope you enjoyed today's artificial intelligence-generated news digest. For more, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button to activate notifications, and make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.